The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber Hello and welcome to Moneymaker School. Today, we will be summarizing The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. By the end of this short book summary, you will not only understand the big ideas and key takeaways from the book, but you will also be able to discuss and implement them as well. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to learn from the world's greatest books on personal finance, entrepreneurship, and mindset in a fraction of the time. Also, comment I subscribe below, and we will do our best to thank you. The E-Myth Revisited was based on an original book that was written by Michael Gerber in 1986, The E-Myth. Michael revised The E-Myth in 1995, and it has been a bestseller ever since, selling over a million copies. This is because the book holds some intrinsic knowledge and groundbreaking information regarding running and making a business successful. Gerber digs into the root cause 80% of new startups end up miserably. Gerber recommends doing a lot of thinking ahead of time to avoid getting yourself into a situation you can't get out of. Gerber believes running a business well and handling the technical work are two different things. He puts forward the idea of making the system strong rather than working on people. Here are the key lessons the book explains very well. Key lesson number one, technical skills don't make a business grow. Many of you must be thinking that technical skills is the right thing to be mastered in a business, but Gerber defies this perception. People think being great at technical skill also makes you great at running a business. Michael Gerber It means if you are great at painting or baking and you are making state-of-the-art pizzas, then your business should be growing like crazy. Well, this is not the case. When you own a business, you have to look at every aspect like advertisement management, finance management, customer service, setting a strategy, getting customers, and many more. It is like you are the CFO, CEO, CTO, and whatever the top positions are in the company. You own it, and you should work on all aspects of the business equally as your skill. As Gerber says, everybody who goes into business is actually three people in one, the entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician. Key lesson number two, keep learning. Gerber suggests that people who are successful at their businesses are so because they have an insatiable need to know more. This is as simple as it is. As the world continues to master technology and bring about new tools every single day, you must keep in touch with them or you will be lagging, and so will your business. The fact that many businesses do not make it past five years is due to the fact that they don't adapt to the changing world. Take Nokia as an example. When the mobile world was changing to Android and touchscreens, Nokia relied on its old, sold-out versions of phones, which doomed the Nokia empire. Google, on the other hand, joined hands with anything and everything it found new, innovative, and interesting. Key lesson number three, plan your business as a nationwide franchise. You must be thinking, that is a lot to do. However, give it a minute. By planning your business as it were a nationwide franchise will make your plans harder, better, and systemically stable. Like the fast food chains do, they are always up to a bigger goal. So unless you strategize your business as a nationwide franchise from the start, you'll end up systemizing everything as soon as you get a grip on things, allowing you to remove and replace yourself from the specific job while still growing the business sustainably. Key lesson number four, rely on the system, not people. If your business depends on you, you don't own a business, you have a job. And it is the worst job in the world because you're working for a lunatic, Michael Gerber. If you keep working on the idea of establishing a system for everything in your business, you will ultimately end up making a system of systems, which work together seamlessly. Gerber imposed there are three types of systems in a business. 1. Hard systems. These include inanimate objects like machinery, sitting areas, or the factory area, etc. 2. Soft systems. These are the ideas and politics of your business. This also includes the attitude of your employees. 3. Information systems. These include your manuals, SOPs, and the data collected throughout the day, like what is the peak time of the day and what is the best sellers you have. Instead of doing everything yourself, it is now your responsibility to ensure that your systems work well together, which will also help you ensure that your future franchisees are successful in running their own. That's it for our book summary of The E-Myth Revisited. If you want to learn more, you should buy The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. You can pick it up on the affiliate links below. We will return with more book summary soon. In the meantime, please like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is added. Let us know in the comments if there is a book you want us to summarize. And until next time, we hope your financial success surpasses your dreams.